Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We are back again for another episode, it's episode number 73 and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with the weekend league. We're currently 4-1 on one in the weekend league and we're using the team on the screen as you can see right now. So uh, Galeno has been a new addition to the side obviously this weekend bringing him in and unlocking him uh, because you know we're sort of using him as like a filler player until we can go ahead and get ourselves the player of the month Vinicius Jr which is a player that you can see on the screen right now and this is the first game of the episode he's got himself the red Vinicius Jr he's also got himself a, a cheeky little uh, Martial up front which is interesting uh, but anyway he does go one look for a very dodgy on goal there by Kim Pembe uh, but obviously we'll just sort of deal with it and just get on with this game as you can see uh, we do go to another down note again it's another deflection this time through a towel uh, and we'll sort of riding the the unluckiness in this game in, in well in this one yeah so we do make it 3-0 well he makes it 3-0 should i say uh, and it's a very very unfortunate 3-0 loss there we're just going to quit I, I just could not be bothered uh, obviously again like i said you do not need to stay in these games this year there's no point obviously the the elo thing of like the year has gone by it's not really a thing anymore and obviously you've got loads of games now to obviously get the wins that you need so it just makes everything quicker so as you can see we move on into the next one and this one is a very very dodgy start here as you can see we're not really clearing the ball that well Keane's got the ball on the edge of the box we make a tackle a very perfectly good tackle but the ref has given him, give him a penalty and I don't really understand how I mean it's a great tackle he's won the ball and everything but anyway Benzema steps up and slots it top middle right ish sort of way you want to call it and he does go one up through that of course very sort of dubious penalty so we have 1-0 down, but then Bernardo Silva gets in the box, and when he gets in the box, havoc happens. We do get ourselves a goal back this time from Galeno, the second goal for the club he gets himself, which is quite nice. Obviously, scoring the first one uh, in the in the last episode being a penalty. Uh, he then gets through literally straight after kickoff in the second half, and he scored another goal. And it's another just uh, annoying goal to concede. The first one, the penalty, just shouldn't mean a thing. And then obviously, that was just kickoff, which is very unlucky. But then we flip-flap him to heaven, and Kylian Mbappe is going to save us once again. Uh, in the 55th minute we do get ourselves the goal there we then play 1-2 through Salah and Mbappe and it's Mbappe to ride through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he's not going to miss those and we are now 3-2 up we've turned this game around uh, and eventually the game does finish and we win it 3-2 so that's absolutely fantastic and we now move on into the next one straight off the back of that win which is brilliant to see so what can we do in the next game well this is the team that we're going to face he's got himself as well player of the month Salah also another player with uh, the, this inform Vinicius Junior as a red pick as well who's got that on the ball right here and he's going to sway it across it's a brilliant brilliant block by Kim Pembe absolutely heroic but he gets the rebound there and he's going to smash it home with Butchagueno again it's probably another player that he's got from his baby icons uh, we've yet to do one this year but I don't really see the point in doing a baby icon this year obviously uh, we're getting foot swaps hopefully soon or icon swaps whatever, whatever you want to call it uh, they'll be interesting obviously to see who comes out I'm not too sure what I will be completing I'll probably only go for the packs this time around because I'm not really too fussed about icons this year and obviously packs is fodder and uh, I'm completing absolutely every SBC under the sun at the minute so we can need the fodder uh, especially if we're doing like Vinicius Junior and then obviously when Trent comes out as well because he's one player of the month for the Prem uh, that will be interesting and obviously I kind of want to complete him because we have got ourselves obviously more Salah to, to, so to complete that right hand side uh, yes we've got a talent at the minute but we'll take of course we had Maris at the team or if not we can play him up front on 7 chem obviously we can stick Bernardo Silver in there and he will get that chemistry uh, with the strong link but I'm not really too sure um, anyway as you can see there we quit another game uh, and that obviously is not great but we're now up to three losses I mean all three rage quits to be fair they've been good opponents so I'm just not too bothered about quitting and obviously you don't really need to worry about quitting this year because you know you've got loads of games haven't you so we move on into the next one and as you can see he's got himself a very meta team he's got himself the, the Mbappes the Neymars they're very, very sweaty players in this game and we do go one up against this sweaty team which is quite nice for a player to move more Salah who he's costing so so much but you know he's so worth it uh, obviously he rinsed my club but you know it's all worth it for that man so anyway he gets the ball here with Fofana and it's a brilliant ball across into Neymar he's just gonna sort of toe peg it home I don't really know how he's sort of scored that from there Dudek's probably uh, at fault there I can't lie we've got to be asking questions why he's not saved it but anyway we work it in the box quite nicely Sally gets tackled but then we're going to pick it back up on the edge of the box it's going to be Bernardo Silva to win it we get the ball with Riyad Mahrez what can he do he's found Kante into the boy that is Kylian Mbappe and he's going to score to make it 2-1 to us with 50 
15 minutes to go. But then literally from kickoff in the 77th minute is Fofana to whip a ball in into the box who finds uh, the boy Gundogan who squares it across to Benzema to get the goal there and it's now back to 2 all. So we're now into extra time now and as you can see it's a beautiful ball across and look at that, that is a perfection goal if ever I've seen it's just a lump into the box a brilliant ball in fact but actually by Salah but is it as good as this goal Ossiman off the bench for the first time this weekend I brought him and I thought you know what he could win us the game and he he has which is brilliant to see and then we push through once again he's going to take me out uh, I brought Rashford on as well for this game uh, and as you can see right it was Rashford to get taken out he gets the yellow card uh, but he will actually quit because it's 4-2 in the 120th minute and he just wanted to be that guy so we get ourselves another win on the ball which is obviously very very key which, and very very good putting us up to the 27 points mark getting closer to obviously to, I believe it's 37 number that we need uh, so another 10 points is kind of needed to obviously get to where we want to be uh, and we're going to play this team in the next one and as you can see it's mostly gold players he's got himself normal gold Salah Son uh, but then he's got himself Kevin De Bruyne as well who obviously has that nice signature special card whatever you want to call it uh, but anyway we do go one up in this game for Riyad Mahrez literally four minutes on the clock which is brilliant to see uh, then 10 minutes well 10 minutes onto the clock we pick the ball back up Roberto Carlos finds Kante into Mbappe back to Salah and then into the boy killing Mbappe he's now one on one with a goalkeeper he's going around the goalkeeper he's going to out muscle uh, Kimpembe and score and bring obviously into the back of the net so we're now 2-0 up in this one can we make it 3-0 well Galeno's on the ball what can he do he's going to twist turn we get sort of fortunate with the bounce but he's killing Mbappe he's twisting turning once again he lays it across and it's the boy Riyad Mahrez to strike home uh, for a free goal lead and uh, for a rage quit as well so we're absolutely storming on in this weekend hoping to obviously get up to the eight wins and we're not too far off right now we've now got 31 points uh, i believe actually we only need one more win uh maybe two i can't, I can't really remember or is it maybe more i, I don't I, i've not got a clue but anyway so we're going to move on into this game then as you can see we get a, a cheeky little free kick there he then nicks the ball off mate and it's sort of like a three on three situation he's then going to push through with benzema what can he do well he's going to find the boy uh, that is used mandabelli and he's going to score and he's one up inside to 28 minutes that was a very very poor goal to concede from our goal kick no goal kick sorry uh, our obviously free kick but then we do pick the ball with Bernardo in the box what can he do well just look at this man he twists turns he's absolutely incredible this man is a magician he's genuinely insane and obviously he's getting another upgrade as well very soon because obviously Man City progressed into the Champions League which is brilliant to see then Yusuf Atal uh, then goes and scores that which is brilliant and what I liked about that goal was it was full back to full back the fact that I've got two very attacking fullbacks unlocks so many doors, it's ridiculous. Like, obviously, Roberto Carlos has got the pass in his dreams to find a towel uh, in that situation, and the water finish from a towel, by the way. So, I don't really want to replace him, but obviously, Trent will be quite decent. And as well, he's quite an attacking fullback, so we've now kind of got two sort of free kick takers, and obviously, they're both different feet as well, so that helps for left and right free kicks. So, as you can see, now we have four, we are cruising in this game, he gets a red card as well. Uh, and then I thought, you know what, let's just shoot this free kick because why not? But then he went and quit, so that was fun. Uh, and we're now up to 35 points so obviously we're getting closer and closer uh, i believe we actually we need a few more points i can't remember what, no no this is it so yeah so we got 35 points we're gonna go obviously go up to 44 quit all these nine games actually score some goals yeah and that's the thing uh, but anyway yeah so we got ourselves eight wins this weekend i believe we finished eight and three or eight and four so not bad not a bad record at all to be fair we got 12 and three last weekend so obviously we're doing a little bit worse than last weekend but you know who really cares the team of the week is terrible anyway and stuff so i didn't really want to push on to 12 there was literally no point they should play a pick won't give me anything and obviously uh, the extra sort of pack of like a mega pack isn't going to be too much of a difference either so we're going to open the two player picks now who we're going to get well we've got the first one is going to be grifo or grifo yeah we got him that's great cool what's the second one we get him again and then we get seven here as well so we're going to pick the frenchman uh so an 84 and an 85 from our red picks generally doesn't make a difference they're not going to get used in the team they're going to go straight into an 86 plus ones that have the coins not the coins ones have the reds available to go and do that spc so as you can see we're going to complete the first uh the first squad or the well the last squad actually uh the last sort of quarter out of the man that is vinicius junior uh we've done the 88 rate squad there and it's cost us literally two hundred thousand coins 
which is massive it's ridiculous how much that's just cost me but it has and we're now going to move on and open these packs that you can see on your screen so we're going to open the first one which is going to be the team of the week pack we actually get a walkout as well uh, but it's going to be jordan henderson so it's not going to be worth too much coins uh, it's going to be like 20k obviously that 69 pace isn't fantastic if he had like maybe 80 82 pace he'd probably be worth like 40 50k but he's not he's got no pace so that's why he's worth like discard uh, so anyway we're going to get rid of him and obviously i can thieve and the other informal just going to get straight discarded which is another 20k into the club so we're back up to 60k or 66k which is quite decent two more packs to go as well uh, the first one is the mega pack and that is absolutely terrible so we'll just get rid of that to be fair though we did get vinicius jr so that's not bad uh, he's actually worth 6k at the minute so we're just going to get rid of him as quick as possible um obviously it's getting those coins we're now as you can see nearly up to 90k already so with him getting sold as well that'll be like 95k two shadows as well that's another 5k each brilliant to see we're sort of working the coins up straight away which is brilliant uh, and we're now going to move on into the 100k pack the biggest pack of them all uh well it's not but from what we've had now uh, we do get a walk out again it's only an 86 or an 87 it's going to be Luka Modric of Real Madrid uh, as you can see there the Croatian walking out on your screen so yeah we do get Akin Fever as well and then quite a few boards so we get Akin Fever it'll be 10k we'll get Modric he's like what 17 18k that's the uh, what 28k then we get ourselves a Ibra that'll be like 4k so we're over 30k we've also got I believe Quadrado in there that's like 6 or 7k so we've probably made like 50 60k of that but from that pack which is a very very good 100k pack uh, as you can see i believe we do actually keep these 83s eventually we're going to just stick them up to the trade pile for now and then we get ourselves an alpha as well who is going to be a duplicate uh, which is a untradeable one in that but that one is tradable so that is going to pretty much round off the end of the episode then so if you did enjoy the video give it a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow peace